Anyway, in the first in the first Pi game episode, I did a basic um, Arkanoid clone, just using blocks, just having blocks going around the screen. See if I can play it, and. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, got to open the file first, don't I? There we go. And it was just a basic Arkanoid type game, like so. And from that stream. I know of five that have made games. There's, been, I think Cyberflyer did Frogger. There's Grey Defender and his um, Covidatron. There's um, State Stacy with uh, Eye in a Box, or is it Eye in Out a Box now? Can't remember if it's in or out anymore. <laughs> But what I wanted to do Yes, I know that feeling mate. I know that feeling. So in this one we're going to add some graphics, gonna make some graphics, and we're going to add some game mechanics to it. Because I want to show that once you've understood, got over the understanding of Python and Pygame, uh, which I think people are now starting to understand, then it's dead easy to add uh, stuff to. So what I want to do is let me put a breakpoint in here somewhere. So I want it to stop. So let's get it to stop there. That's it. So what I want to do is, depending on how much time we got and whether I want to get back on Minecraft and play, is, oh come on, have you set up yet? Yoink. Oh, crashed. Let's get it up and running. See if I can pause it. Right, that should have paused. But I can't see it. Aha! Right. So what I want to do is we've got, what, five... Five rows of um, tiles here. And I want to give them point values. I also want them to make be different colours. I also want to make them look like bricks. And I also want to give some animation when they when they um, are destroyed. Um, not bl explosion animation, just animation to say you've hit this and it's going to disappear. And we'll see how far we get because I want to make the this to be a, a a ball. I've got to find a ball somewhere. I want to make the pad. Um, More looking like a pad. I've got to find a pad somewhere. See if we can find some. See if we can find some art. So, where are we? There we are. So that's the plan. Yeah. So we have to. First things first. Let's make the. Let's make the blocks. Now, I can't remember what size I said we was going to make them. So. Did we say how many blocks, blocks, blocks? Here we go. Block width settings. Right, 23 by 15. Hmm. Maybe maybe we need to make bigger than that. Um We'll keep the 15 high. Let's just run it again. Hmm. 
Oh, I don't know. We could get away with them like that. 23 by 15. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. So I'm going to fire up my favourite paint program and we're going to see if we can draw these out. Oh, not now. So let's change our canvas size to 23 by 15. Oi. There we go. So that's our that's our block in a nutshell. So we need to be able to um, we want oh brush size one. So we want it to we want it to look like a block, we, and we want it to look like sh uh, the there's light from one side. So and I want to have five different colours for the different levels because each level is going to have a different points value when we get to the point set uh, system and stuff like that but I wanted to be able to create some images so we can load them in and um, allow us to mess around so the colors I got where's my color palette gone I knew I shouldn't have messed about with this the other day Be over here. Ah, here we go. Color palette. Toolbox. Aha. Not history. Layers. No. Right. So the color pat palette. We're going to have vivid. We're going to use the vivid colors. And then we're going to use the dark colors for the shadowing. Yeah. So we've got red. So we're going to use. We'll use have the first layer as red. And what I was thinking was. Um, I've got some feathering going on there. Uh, da, da, da. Paintbrush, pencil, pencil. Ah, that's better. So we're going to have a bevel. Oh dear. Right, let's paint that, fill that in. So that's the first one. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a shadow, shadowing effect. So it's going to be like a bevel. Uh, da, 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 da. It's going to be like that, isn't it? I mean, I could make it, could make it a bit darker, I suppose. But really, so that's the dark, and then we got the light one there. But there's a problem with this, which I'm going to show you. That doesn't look right. That looks better. What I want to do is have a gap between between the, the the tiles. So the only way to do that is to um, do this. And then So that's what it looks like we're. So this is going to be our first um, first tile. So let's save that file. Save as. And we'll create a folder called assets. And we'll call this um, row 
one. In fact, we'll call it brick one. Right, so that's the first layer, yeah? So the second layer, we're just gonna do quick fill. So we've made, so the second layer can be orange. So we'll, oops, undo. Tolerance. No, 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 no. No. I was trying something new. Don't you like it? It comes up at the bottom. If you don't like it, I'll change it. Okay. Okay. There, see it? Right, I can't fill it, so we're gonna to have to do it by hand. Pencil. Right, let's see if it'll fill now. There we go. So to go dark, Oh, undo, undo, undo. Go dark. That's down here. Like watching paint dry. And then the light will be here. So this is all orange. So that's row two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Never mind. So that's going to be brick two. So the next brick will be brick three. So we'll make that yellow. Yeah, we'll make that. Oh, no. Let's make it green. Let's make it green. Oh, that is really harsh. Excellent. That is... Whoops. There we go. Whoa, that is a good green, that is. So the dark green. Doo -doo -doo. And then the light version of it, which is that. But ah, oh, undo. Need a tablet do this oh what happened there better whatever whoa <laughs> you mean the first one or the second one? I tried the film, mate. It went and did feathering or whatever. It's anti whatever it is. Oh, you don't like the first one. Okay. You'll never see it again. I thought, because everybody's using it, I thought I'd have give it a go. Right, so that's brick number three. So, so we've done green, so we'll do blue. Do blue the next one. So 
So dark blue across the bottom. All right, then. you won't see it again. Oh, you git. Ah, oh, undo. Right, so that's brick number four. And layer five. Ooh, let's make this. We'll make it purple. I oh, know I was going to make it pink then, but I'm checking it out. Give that a quick fill. No, 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 no. It's paintbrush fill. There we go. And. Go with the dark. And then the light. I was going to say it looked strange. Oh, hang on. It's that one, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Right, file, save as. So that's row five. Now, I want another one. I want another one. And this one is all going to be about... Um, it's going to be about flashing. So when... Where, this is going to be the animation when it dies and stuff like that. So get a dark grey. Put that at the bottom. And then the light grey there. Put at the top. Because I want it to flash. But because I don't want to make another set of buttons. So if it was a red button it would flash pink, red, pink, red. Or blue would be very light. Sky blue, blue, sky blue. I would just want it to flash between the white and the colour. So this is going to be a indicator brick. So I'm going to call that brick naught. Alright, so there's our bricks. Now, let's see if we can find some artwork for the pad. Evening. Now, there's this website called Open Game, Open Game Art, and it's free game artwork. So you can go on there, find this artwork, and it's called, as you can see, opengameart.org. And what you do, you just put in what you want to see. Uh, oh my, look at these. Oh, cool. Look at those. Oh, squirrel. Um, right. So, I what am I looking for? What was I looking for? Um, oh, yeah. Platform. Right, let's see if we can find um, a pad for our platform for the balls to back the ball to bounce on. Uh, next, mm, no, no. 
Ah, but it looks, it's grass. It looks grassy. I don't want it looking grassy. Let's have a look. I suppose, but it doesn't look very big. Search for paddle. Okay. I'm glad you guys are there. I wouldn't have thought of paddle. Wouldn't have thought of it. Hey, look at this. Ooh. That's a specific... Oh, look at this breakout. Look at all this artwork. Oh, no. I might be using these. <laughs> these do look good. <laughs> these do look good. Um, oh, 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 oh. What's next? Oh, and that's how it looks. <laughs> well, they do look that does look good doesn't it um yeah right so what you just you just download it so we'll download it that can be our that can be our first thing so I'll just put it in the directory so uh, we can see it straight away when we get back. Assets, we'll just stick it in there for the moment. Right, let's see what else there is. Just, just in case, there's, just in case there's more. Ah, da, 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 da. They're the basic ones. Hmm. What's this? I suppose if you wanted to make it look like... Oh, it's a Pico 8 template. Okay. Ooh. Wow. There's a lot going on there. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, that's the one we've just looked at. Um, oh, it's all, it, oh, we'd have to cut it out. Got to cut it out, haven't we? Yeah, so we'd have to cut it out. I suppose we could do that. Um... The only problem with them doing this is you, you have to cut them out. Yeah. 
and it gets very tedious. <laughs> nah. Okay, um, well we sort, that's the one we just looked at. Oh, come on, the opening. Ooh, what's going on? Oh, he's he's got a specific one called paddle ball. All right. Well, we'll go with that. Um... Are you still there? Oh, I'm dropping frames. Right. Okay, so I can't unzip it from there. I'm dropping frames for some reason. Right, so... I have no idea how you would do that. So we should have lots and lots of pictures. Okay. <laughs> yes. Right. So we would use that one. How big's that one? Oh, I can't see properties from here. Hang on. Right. So where is it? What's that one? 56. So that's this one here. Right, so we can definitely shrink it down. Definitely shrink it down. We'd have to work out what's what's that one? So that's actually smaller than that. Oh, it's animated. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, we'll have a bit of that. Right, so our pad's going to be an animated. Right, okay. So what I want to do then is we're going to use five of these colours as our um, as our bricks, and we'll even use this um, breaking. Because I've got an idea, I've got an idea about um, how to make the game uh, a little bit better. But so we need to rename these because 
when you're working with animated graphics in Pygame, it it becomes it becomes um, important to name them properly because then when you use them in Pygame, you can. Um, it's one thing I learned when I, when I'm one thing I've learned while I'm while I'm doing Py Runner, which is the grid runner for Python. Um, is naming the pictures, especially when you've got a lot of a lot of frames that you want to animate, like here down here. So, let's see. So, what's what's that size then? So, 128, 128. Come on, 128. One twenty eight. Right, okay. Two thirty. So that's like it's been that's like it's been closed, isn't it? Closed up. Alright then. These have got guns on though. Yes. So there's three normal and three guns. Oh we could we could really make some serious problems here. All right then. Right, so I mean these points as well. Oh, these points would be cool as well. So one hundred, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred. So okay, so that's scrolling the one hundred, but that's that's all we get. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So let's uh, let's see what we can do with these. So what I want to do is I want to I want to name the bricks um, according to the rows. Yeah. So like I did before, we will create. We'll name. Rename this to brick one zero, and you'll see what I mean. Why I'm doing that. So this one's going to be brick one one. Now, why didn't you go down there? Hey, ugh. Windows. Oh, it's done it. Right. Brick two zero. So that's a normal brick. And this one is going to be brick two one. Um, brick three zero. Brick three one. You see the pattern? So that's three. That's three. So blue, blue bottom, green, purple. Then we'll go red. Yeah, we'll go red. Rename. So this is brick four. Zero. And then brick four one. Whoa. And then, so if we're going through the perp, then yeah, we could have orange at the top. Yeah, orange at the top. Rename brick five zero. Brick five one. So there's our, there's our four rows of bricks. And I've named them specifically like this. So the the four in four zero is the level, the brick level, and the zero one one is going to be fully or cracked. Yeah. 
So I need yellow. So we'll use this one as our indicator. So this is going to be brick zero. And this will be brick one, brick zero one. All right. Right. So for our paddle, so let's rename this. So paddle uh, da, 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 zero one. Rename paddle zero two. Oh, I renamed that wrong. Set and then paddle zero three. So that's the paddle without the guns. So this one can be paddle. Uh, one one paddle one two paddle one three okay now this is like it goes long so these could be power ups Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. We'll just stick with we we'll stick with these. Right, so what we're gonna do is and this can be our ball. 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 So what let's let's um copy that lot. So we'll cut it out of there and paste it into our assets folder where our bricks are. Ooh, skip. Did I have a, did I have brick zero? <laughs> yes, I did. Rename brick zero zero. Right, so ignore this brick zero because that's my my bricks. In fact, I'm going to move them out of the way. We'll just move them out of the way. In fact, Right, so we've got five layers of bricks. So we can start now in the game, we can start um, incorporating them into our code, right? So we go into the block and we can start um, loading these into our code, yeah? So, um, Instead of doing the fill color, we need to, how big that, how, how big are they? I forgot how big they were. See, they're massive, absolutely massive. So, um, let's see, if we, we half that, that becomes 64 high. So if we quarter it, that's 32 high. We might be able to get away with 32 high. Let's get a bit of paper out. Get my calculator out, because, hey oh, someone's being trapped. Someone's tried ringing me. Right, so divide the by four. So one to eight divided by four is thirty-two. Just to make four, oh, may just make sure. Yes. So three eight four divided by four 
is 96. So 96 long by 32 high. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's change it to do that. So let's just change our settings to see what it looks like. So these are our old ones. And our new ones, so the width is 96. And our height is 32. Right, so hopefully our, our game should be able to adjust. No, we've set it, haven't we? Right, so we've got to work out. Oh, hang on. I've forgotten what I did. Ah, number of blocks 32, number of rows 5. So it's number of blocks. So we are looking at a six, 800 widescreen. Oh, that's not many blocks on there. That's only eight. That's not a lot of blocks. That's not a lot of blocks. Ooh. Gonna have to divide by eight, I think. One to eight, divide by eight, 16. So 384 divided by 8 is 48. Let's see if we can do that. So 48 wide, 16. Right, 800 divided by 48 gives us 16 rows. Uh, 16. effectively halved it and we need to change this to 768 Ooh, 17 oh, I'll do it the other way 816 no 768 do that right so we should now have a different setup oh like a wally I was asleep right so there they look all right I think we'll get away with that I think we'll get away with that. Right, so do we do we put the row in? No, we don't. So we need to we need to we need to be able to tell the block what what row it's in. Yeah. So we need to add row into its uh, and then self dot row equals row. So we're telling we're telling the block. All right, see you later. I don't know how long that's been there. So we're telling the block what row is it in, and we'll pass it through here. And then what we can do is we can then set the image instead of filling it with a color we can load it in right so let's create a let's get rid of that let's create 
you. Oh, colour. Yeah, I've spelt it with a U. Where? Have I? <gasps> oh, I was asleep. I was asleep. <laughs> I was asleep. Right. So, instead of filling it full of the colour, we're going to fill it with the image. So we need to create another function. So, load... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. load brick oh no load image because we're in block anyway so load image and what do I need to do what do I need to do do we need to pass anything in we need to pass self in anyway should I pass in the row? Yeah, row and uh, broken. Right, so file name. So we need to build the file name up. So it is brick and then we, oh, First it's in assets, brick, and then we've got the two the two digits. So um, zero zero and one. So here we need to let's see. <laughs> Fight over colour. <laughs> right, so self dot broken equals zero. Right, so and then uh, row comma broken. So that's setting up the file name. So that will create a file name called assets brick, the two digits, dot PNG. And then we add, we insert our th um, numbers into those curly brackets. Next is then we um, load the image. So, um, Yeah. So we're going to load the image. So PG dot. Oh, no, it's Pi game. Got to remember. Uh, and I think. So we're taking the image and we'll put it into the variable image. Now, we need to scale it to our, our scale. So, um, there's a thing called transform and this allows you to do many, many things with uh, pictures and the one we're going to do use is scale. So we have to give it the image we want to scale, which is in there, and then tell it what dimensions. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, what dimensions we want. Now those dimensions are now 48, 16. So that should scale our image. Then we're going to return the image back up. So here, where we're doing this, so we'll rem that out now. We're going to do self.image equals load uh, that's the one and then we're going to pass in self dot row and self dot broken this should then load the image and then we work it out and it puts it on the screen oh right this should work we should then have different colored bricks on the screen, all not broken. So let's see if we let's see if it does that. Hey, I've got one too many blocks. Have I worked my maths out wrong? Hang on, send it up. Pause. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Right. Have I got my math wrong? Right, so the 48 times 16 equals 768. Ah, let's put it back to 800. That's better. Right. So what I want to... Um, what I want to do now is... I mean, clearly there's something wrong with the bounce on the pad, but... I'm not bothered about that at the moment. What I want to do now is I want to give it some I want to have some animation when the when the brick is hit by the ball. I want some animation. I don't want it just disappearing. I want to actually see some animation of the block. So what we what we want to do is in the game I think we delete it if we touch it. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, we delete it. So we delete the um, sprite. Now, I don't want to delete it. I don't want to delete it. But what I want to do is I want to tell the block that it's been hit, yeah? So we have got a reference to that block called dead block, and I want to be able to say to it, you've been hit, yeah? So dead block, oh, in fact, let's go to the block and do the thing. So what I want to do is I want to um, give it a um, as you go up as you go up you've got to hit it 
hit the block more and more. So first level is you hit it, that's it. Second one hits twice. Third one, three times. Fourth one, four times. But I don't want it because it would make the game impossible to play because by the time you've got to hit the block five times. What I want to do is I want to set the blocks to have a random number of hits. So a random number of hits between one and two, yeah? And and you'll know that you're on the second hit because we're going to change it to say it's been broken, yeah? So I want to um, then um, tell the block you have been hit, yep. Yeah? And then if it's if the block if the broken is zero, then it makes it one, which then makes the block. Um, um, have the broken on it and then if you hit it again it disappears so we need a routine here to um, to handle that so um, let's call it hit for a better word so you've been hit so um, what do we want to do? So we need to, first thing we need to do is, set a we need to set a flag. All right. So self dot hit equals true. So we're saying that we've, we, you've been hit and now um, I'm going, I'm rushing ahead. Let's, let's just, let's just get the uh, broken thing done. So, um, so self dot broken plus equals one. So that's adding one to broken. Um, if self dot broken is equal to two that means you've been hit second time um, then we die am I passing in the am I passing in the game no I'm not So I need to pass. I need to pass in a reference for the game. So let's go back. So self dot game. So we're going to pass in a reference to the game into the block, and here it's going to be game. And so self dot game equals game. So we've passed we've passed the reference of the game into the block. So the block is now where of the game, and of course we have to import it. So here we can now say if if I'm broken, then self dot game dot blocks block. Hang on, what did I call it? Yeah, self dot blocks. Blocks dot, I think it's delete. Hang on, I think it's delete. Pi game. So sprite, 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 sprite. Sprite group. Remove, right.
Is that that's removing one, I think. Yeah. So we should say self dot game dot blocks dot remove self. So that's saying I'm going to remove myself at out of the blocks so it doesn't get run. Now, if broken is not two, that means it's one. So we'll do the same thing. Self dot image dot um, equals self dot load. Self dot row, comma self dot broken. Come on. It's because that's missing. There we go. And then we have to re establish the well. I'm not sure. Let's leave it and see if it's there. So basically now if we hit if we hit it it should turn into the broken image. So let's try it. Oh. Boom. Game object has no attribute game. That is correct, because it's self. Duh. Right, see if it, does it go broke? No, it doesn't go broke. Right, so we're missing summit. What are we missing? I think I was doing hit. I forgot the hit, didn't I? Uh, I forgot to tell it had been hit. Yeah, here we go. Dead block dot hit. Ooh. Hang on. Did I spell it with a capital? Of course I did. And it should know. Yeah. Right then. Here we go. Ooh. What? Right. Just put it in the right place. Right. So what happens is um, when you make a when you have two sprites colliding, before we had it deleting it, 
Yeah. But what it does, it returns back a list of sprites that have just been collided. So we are in here, we're testing, is it greater than zero? Yes, it is. And then we run through them because it could be two, because if you notice, we, get, we did have two doing it. We run through the list of dead blocks and we say, you've been hit. And then we bounce the ball. Let's see if that sorts it. Get me mouse at the ready. Come on. There we go. We got a crack. And another one. Go on. No, it didn't didn't die. Didn't remove itself from the group. Right, so we need to sort that out. We need to sort that out. Right. So in here, so in in here where we say we try and delete we try and remove itself yeah what we're going to do is we're not going to do that because it looks like it's not doing it anyway um, but we will set now we'll test the broke we'll test the broken They're back. So here we do this and then we'll test it. If dot broken is equal to two. Then self dot block. No, um, maybe it's just as simple as that. Right, let's try that. See if it's just as simple as that. So that's broken. See if we can get the same one again. Here we go. Oh, it didn't go. Okay, how did I do it in, how did I do it in, hmm, Okay, let's try that. <gasps> Missed. Caught me napping. All right, so double worked. Come on. Oh, it still didn't go. Why is it not pulling it out of the... Um, that should be pulling it out of the block. Removes a sprite or sequence of sprites from a group. That should be re removing it out of the blocks. Why is it not removing it out of the blocks? Uh, where's the documentation?
Oh, it's in all. It's in all sprites as well. Maybe. Maybe it's in all. Right. Do I... I only draw all sprites. Okay. Let's try this again. See if I can get it hit twice. Caught napping. Come on. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Oh, that is not where I want you to go. There we go. Hey, bingo. Right, so we've got it now, so it removes... Whoa, love that effect. But I want it now to... <laughs> I want it to... Um, I want it to flash. When the thing's been hit, I want it to flash. So what we need to do is we need to, in this, bro in this hit... We need to um, get it to flash. So we've got hit there. So I need to, we need to make an update routine for this. Now I think it's little update, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So def update. Now what this is going to do is it's because here we're going to set we're going to set it to so effective we're taking that out of there and we're going to put it in there All right and um, in here we're doing self dot hit equals true and we need to then make it do flashing. We need to make it flash. So um, now we are running, what are we running at? Is it 60 frames a second? Yeah. So if we get it to, if we get it to flash in fifth, yeah, 15, yeah. Okay. So we need some more we need some animation variables now. So self dot uh, flashes equals zero, and self dot frame counter equals zero. So here, self dot dot counter or oh, flashes equals zero so we're resetting them here and frame counter equals zero so we're initializing it so we're saying we've, we've been hit now and what we're going to do is here we're going to say if self dot hit equals true then do all this so the first thing we do is we want to change the yeah we want to change the um, image so as soon as it hits it changes color as soon as it hits it changes color so um, Just thinking out, just thinking in my head. So as soon as it hits, we start the sequence going. So it changes color. So the first thing we need to do is load the image in. So the image is not self dot row. It's now block zero. Yeah. Um, to start with, but I don't want that. Um, straight I don't want that straight away so what I want to do is if 
self dot flashes because we've only got two images we're going to divide it by two but I want to test the remainder yeah and if the remainder equals zero right then it does the flash and then when it's when it's divided by two and it's equals one then we want to do the normal one so else so we're doing exactly the same thing again but we're making it the official color so self dot row yeah okay so we've we've got the image we then increase the frame counter and then if self dot frame counter um, is greater than uh, we're 60 frames a second so we're going to say 30 30 oh because we're starting at 0 30 then self dot flash flashes plus equal 1 <laughs> I don't think we're I don't think we're at the end just yet, mate. We're just trying to make this thing flash. So we add one to flash, reset the frame counter. What else do we want to do? We need to test the flashes, don't we? Because we want to flash it um, five times. That's three, well, half a second. So one second to do a cycle, two seconds, three seconds. So that's going to be six. Yeah, we'll get it to do it after three seconds. So if self dot flashes is greater than six. Right, this is where we do the self dot broken. So if it's after it's done its sixth flash, it does self dot broken and then loads the broken image in. Well, hey, sorted. Is that going to work? No, it ain't. And the reason it's not going to work is because now it, we are doing this on the update cycle, not the hit cycle. Oh, ooh, ooh, forgot something, forgot something. We've got to reset the, the hit back to false. Because it'll carry on. <laughs> And we'll say we'll call that block it might get confused so here block it now let's rim that out and what we're going to do is once Once it's done everything, so back here, so for block in uh, self dot blocks, no, block. So there we're doing it we're doing the termination test here right so we tell it it's been hit which starts the which puts the block into flash mode yeah and then as it does the updates it's doing the flashing so that's where we've got to do the test yeah so here 
we then run through all the blocks that are in our in in our uh, block stream, and we test to see if any of them have gone to broken to, and then remove them. Right. Let's see if my logic works. So we should end up with flashing blocks when they get hit. Here we go. No. Nothing. Not a sausage. Uh -uh. Why? Why, 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 why? I'll tell it it's hit. That sets the frame counter going. Um, I have a bit of a confession to make. Because I've been playing Minecraft. <laughs> still in the box. <laughs> still in the box. Um, I can get it out. Oh. Ah. There you go. Because I've been playing Minecraft for a week, I ain't, I ain't even got it out of the box. It's like I've had another package today. Um, that I thought of doing streams. And it's... These. This is multi-cart for the Commodore 64 volume three and volume four and they have got um they've got classic classic games on them so this is cart three and it's got um Defender 64, Frogger 64, Frontline, Gelf My Garden, Cuddly, Cubert, Crazy Kong, Caverns of Something, Burger Time, uh, Bandana City, Aquanaut, Guzzler, Melon Mania, Missile Command, Panic 64, Scramble 64, Siren City, Spider on the Fly, Star, Star Trek. Uh, Tales of the Arabian Nights. Oh, I absolutely loved that game. Absolutely spent too long on that one. Um, and loads more. So that's three. And then four. See, I haven't even opened them yet. Uh, Arkanoid. <laughs> Arkanoid, Barbarian, Beachhead, yes, Brutally, yes, Bubble Bobble, yes, Chucky Egg, yes, Commando, yes, Donkey Kong, Eagle Empire, Elite, Bring It On, Forbidden Forest, oh, wow, it's been a while since I played that game, uh, Im Impossible Mission, Jupiter Lander, Le Mans, Mega Phoenix, uh, Minor 2049er, Pac-Man, Paranoid, blah, 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 and there are 26, 30, 26, 36 games on that one. And there's 36 games on that one. Now, the reason I buy, I've bought these is because I have... Yeah, well, this is, right, Retro Rust, this is um, one of the things I was going to do, right? Because I, I'm going to put Ubuntu on that, yeah? So I'm going to put the, the new Ubuntu 
um, distro for the Raspberry Pi on there um, because they reckon that all their library is now uh, Pi compatible. And the first thing I was going to try out was I was going to put Visual Studio Code on it. I was going to put Kick Assembler on it. I was going to load. I was going to follow my own video that I've put out there to install everything. The only thing that I probably couldn't do would be the C64 debugger because that is not in the Ubuntu library. Only the Ubuntu library, they say, is compatible. So you'd be able to install Vice because you'd be able to do sudo in. Um, sudo apt install vice and you'll be able to do vi uh, visual studio code because on the microsoft website they now do a raspberry pi version and then i was going to set that up using ubuntu um, and see if it ran like a x86 machine and if it did that was going to end up start being starting to be my um, C64. So yes, I would be doing the same thing. There's a Linux version of the Goat Tracker. The problem is if it's not in the Ubuntu store, if it's not in the Ubuntu store uh, uh, or the software library, then it probably won't work because it'll be, a, unless Goat Tracker's source is out there and we can recompile it in uh, on the Pi, yeah? So if the source is out there and we can grab it, then we might be able to recompile it on uh, for Goat on Goat Tracker. So it'd be interesting to see. Anyway, back back to what I was. Uh, where was I? Oh, it wasn't working. That was it, wasn't it? Why wasn't it working? Let's see if it's getting in there. Yeah, I mean, it, well, it's not Raspbian anymore. It's now called Pi OS. Um, and also, this comes overclocked. It's, over, it's, um, it's clocked at 1.8. Now, I've seen a video. Um, uh, I don't know if you've... I don't know if you've um, seen it, but it's Leaps Video, I think it's co is called. Leaps Video. Um, hang on. See if I can find him. Yeah, Leaps Video. This one here, Leaps Video. And... Yeah, he, he, he overclocked... I'm not too sure if it's this one or the previous one, but he overclocked it at 2.2, and it worked. A it worked a treat. Um, he did a te he did temperature um, ETA Prime did temperature tests at 2.2, and it only reached 50, 53 or 54 degrees. So it was pretty. It was getting rid of the heat pretty well. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm going to do it at 2.2 because um, if 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 it's only reaching if it's only reaching 54 53 degrees maxed out then then there's no chance of it burning out. I mean to be honest my Pi down there that's got the heat sink on it I've got that running at 2.6 because it's got an active heat sink on it. Yeah 53 at full load yeah. And that one at 2.6, when it's at full load, I think that only reaches like 43 or 42 degrees. So it's, it's that's why you can hear the fan going when I've got it on. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a jet engine. <laughs> I have I have done a video where you can set up the C64 development on the Raspberry Pi. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do, 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 playlist. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? Where is it? Hunchback. Here 
Here we go. Here, VS Code on and Python on the Raspberry Pi. Right, so this, even though I've, it says VS Code and Python, if you skip through it, I think it's about 22 or 23 minutes, I actually show you how to install um, the Kick Assembler and Vice on a Pi. So then you can you can um, use it as a dev environment. But like I say, C64 debugger doesn't work on the Pi because there's no C64, there's no armor version of the C64 debugger. But it's still, you can still develop on a Pi. So it's this one, episode four of Tutorial 37. Anyway, a bit of self-promotion there. Shameless self-promotion. Right, let's find out why this is not doing it. Right, go. Bounce. Oh. It's not even going through the hit test. Right, okay. So let's step into it. Hit is true. Flashes, okay. Comes out, does the next one, does the ball bounce. Now, it's checking. Okay. Put a break point here, I want to see it do it. It's not doing the update. Why is it not doing the update? Why is it not doing the update? Am I missing something? Yes, I am missing something. I am definitely missing something. Oh, really, John? Oh, you, you plank, plank. I'm not even telling it to do an update. <laughs> oh, really? Right, let's try it again. Oh, look, it's doing it now. It's going in there now. Right. Let's do that again. Run. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Run. <laughs> I caught the ball. I caught the ball. That's it. Right, so it's doing the it's doing the hit block. Okay. There we go, it's flashing. It's too slow. Oh, so the top is yellow. Did I make the top butt? That's no good. Top top rose yellow. Top rose yellow. That's a yellow. 
That's an orange. Oh, it looked yellow. It looked yellow. Let's look at it again. No, that's d no. I suppose it is. That that looks. That looks yellow. That looks yellow. And that's yellow. I don't think. Hmm. Okay. So it goes blue, green, purple, red, orange. Right. Let's just make sure it's doing this right. Oh. I feel I don't use the colour. Is it picking out the wrong file? Hang on. For row into range self number of rows. Okay. Oh. 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 oh, oh. Plus one. Range is from zero, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Right, so the flash needs to be quicker. So we'll make it 15, but we'll make it flash for twice as long as 12. In fact, let's get some settings in here. So block flashes. equals 12 block timer flash timer equals 15 yes well done mate well done yep yep I am not uh, taking that away from you. You and me got there just at the right time. So this is the block flash timer. And this is the block flash count. Right. So that should speed up the flash and make it a bit. There we go. So they should flash and then crack, which they have done. So let's see if we can get hit. Oh, here we go. It's hitting it again. Will it get rid of it? Yep, it's gone. Go, cool, we need some sound effects on this.
You what? Right, so that seems to that seems to be working. So, uh, what time is it? Oh, ten o'clock. Right, so let's do the. <laughs> it didn't even yell at the screen that time. Well done, mate. Well done. Right, so where's the paddle player? So what we need to do now is. Um, we can do the same with the player. Get that. Um, which would be true. So what we can do is we can say if self dot hit equals false. And do it because that would have reset the cycle. So, yep. Yeah. Well, it's in there now. It's in there now. So, for the player, so with a player, did we rename the files on the player? Yes, we did. Right. So, we've got three. We've got three um, animations to go through. So what we're going to do is first we need to set it to let's what well, how big are these just 128 so we say we're going down to 16 right 485 and 128 so we know that's 16 so that's going to be divided by 8 so 485 divided by 8. Um, so that's 60 wide. 61 wide to be precise. But we'll make it 60. So what we're going to do is we'll do exactly the same thing as we did for block. So we're going to nick this code, plonk it in player. Now we're not doing broken. We are doing, uh, we're not even doing roll. We are doing um, what are we doing? Ah, yes. So, firing, no, guns, there we go, comma, um, frame, counter, there we go. So this one's going to be paddle, and then it's going to be guns, and frame counter. So we are not going to fill it with yellow. We are going to load. So we'll copy the same thing out of the, because it's exactly the same code. We just need to tweak it slightly. <laughs> Look out, there's a wolf beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, look out, there's a wolf behind me. Right, so we need to set up we need to set up some things here. So um self self dot guns equals zero. So we're just 
planning ahead because there's two sets of animation and self dot frame counter equals zero and self dot animated animated frame equals zero so then we will put self dot guns in and self dot animated frame in but I am wondering have I got zero or is it just one two and three one two and three okay set that to one so um do, 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 do. Yeah, so we do that. Now, in the update, we're going to animate the frame. So what we need to do is we just, in this update here, we are going to increase um, frame counter. So let's say we want that, we want the shimmering effect to say, um, so there's three frames and get it to do it every third of a second. So if we're 60 frames a second, that's going to be 20. So if self dot frame counter is greater than 20, first reset it. And then we do self dot animated frame plus equals one and then test if that is gone past the three and if it has put it back to one then we just load the image in So we're saying that the image is going to be 60 by 16. So I need to change the paddle dimensions. Okay. Well, that's going to be interesting. I've half the size. I've halved it. Half the size of it. Ooh. Right, that should work. Let's see. There you go, it's animating. Hey! I think we can double that width, to be honest. Yeah, I think we can double that width. Let's um, let's double it. So so it's going to be thir thirty two high because we're going to then one twenty. Because it's at the bottom, so let's see. That needs to go faster, doesn't it? Yeah, let's make that go faster. So, um, so it's doing, it's updating three times a second, I think six times a second. Let's try that. So let's change that to 10. Let's see how fast it is now.
Let's make it a bit quicker. Five. I'm just wondering, this might be a bit too quick. Oh, that's much better. Like it. There we go. Right. So that's done those. So let's do the ball and then we'll call it a day for this one. So let's do let's put the ball in there. So the ball is 128 by 128. So we'll make it 16 by 16 to start with. So in ball we're doing exactly the same thing as what we do with everything else. So we're going to load the image in. So we're going to grab this effectively. I'm going to grab this because it's the same thing. Ball, 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 ball. Where's ball? Oops. Thank you. So this is ball and there's no parameters because it's just one image so we can get rid of all that and we can get rid of all that. So this would be 16 by 16 to start with. And what have I set it at the top? Oh, ball dimensions is in settings, isn't it? Width, 10 by 10. So 16 by 16. So we'll go back into the ball because we've got settings. Let's do them here. Oh, have I imported settings? Yes, I have. Hmm. Hmm. Is it now? Why aren't you coming in? I'm not set. Am I doing the? Oh, there we go. So we're setting it there. So we're loading it in. So where's the white? There it is. Get rid of that. And we'll just copy here. Put it into ball. And we're saying that and we don't pass anything in. Right, so we should now have a ball. A proper ball. Here we go. There we go. Hey, right, I think we can get away with a bigger ball, so 32 by 32, that's better, boom, get in there. Right, so we've got it, we've now, <laughs> I 
Did I steal them? Did I did I steal them? Repurposed. <laughs> Repurposed. Um Yes. So we've we've downloaded some graphics from the Open Game Art website and um we are using them in our Aconoid. Now, so these are the blocks and the paddles. So we've got gun one, so we're gonna do something with that. There's the ball, but we've still got all these to use. And I I have an idea. Can you hear that? And I have an idea is these look like the power-ups so like here make the paddle smaller make the paddle bigger <laughs> um, some power-ups are here so we could have health I suppose balls multi-ball yeah multi-ball speed alteration so when when the um, when a book when a brick b breaks, we could use these as um, power ups that can drip. So a rand it could when it disappears, it randomly could cut spawn a power up. <laughs> oh well, um, so. I'm not too sure about the numbers because there's only the one, there's only the 100 that is animated. The 250, the 500 and the 50 aren't. Um, but I've, I've got something else that we can I've got something else that we can use for the points that I use. Uh, this, it's the same system I used in my asteroids and what um, Grey Defender um, borrowed, repurposed for his Covidatron. Um, so we can do that. So for all the people that have done a block, a block game, now you can should be able to start adding art, uh, graphics to it. So I've added a ball graphic, very sim simple ball graphic, and just loaded it in instead of doing the color. We've done a block graphic, but we've done it a bit more complicated now because on the blocks we've got we've got two states. We've got the full health, half health, and then that's it disappeared. Plus we have the animation when the hit. So when it's hit. In fact, I might speed the animation up because it was a bit lackluster, sort of, that type of things. Let's let's see if we can, because it was only in the block flash time is 15, so that's every quarter of a second. Let's, um, let's halve that again and double the count. I want to, I want it flashing. I want it in your face flashing. That's better. Just wondering if it's too long. Yes, it is. It's too long. So, um, because you can get back up. So number of counts flashing is 24. Um, Let's make that 16. Hopefully the ball won't make it back up there while it's still flashing. Oh, just.
Oh, look at that. It just, just, it was just too long. Um, so I'll make that, um, if 16 is too much, 14, 14, 13, 12, let's do 12. Oh, I don't want it flashing when the ball hits it again. Right. Does it stop flashing before the ball gets up there? Yes, that's better. That's better. So yeah, we we're going to have, um, we'll have the power up. So when they do, when they do break, whoa, 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 nicely caught there, John. Anyway. <laughs> is it too big then? Okay. Um, is it too big? Okay. Let's, uh, let's go halfway, 24. Is that better? Can you see the concentration on my face? <laughs> Concentration on my face, it's my own game. <laughs> Alright then. Right, so. For all those people that have done block games. So all those people that have done block games. You should be able to now do add graphics to it. So go onto that website um, grab yourself some graphics that are um, in in the realm of your space and see if you can add the the artwork the graphics to your game first just get it with one frame and then you can dec then decide yes and credit the artist um, I've used Kenny on the hunchback those graphics were from Ke you know the kenny when i loaded it up those graphics were from kenny um don't don't worry about too much about animation just get yourself the single graphic on the screen and then if you've got if you've picked a sprite set with animation you've just seen how i do it with a, a counter and a timer yeah so you loop through your timer when your timer runs out Increase the counter, reset your timer, do it again, do it again. And that's how you do it. And if you name your files, if you name your files, I won't say correctly, but obviously, then you can use those counters for your frame counter. So I think it's a, that's a good place to start. So we've got now our basic graphics in place. Um, there are some other graphics that we can use, but that's now adding more game mechanics to the game. And that can be in the next Python um, stream that I do. So, homework time. For the guys that haven't done a block game, get your finger out and do one. And for the guys that have done a um, block game, Look for some graphics and see if you can put them into your. <laughs> hey dear. Well done, mate. Well done. Um, add some graphics to it and take it to that next step. And then, in I don't. When was the last time I did the Python video? Was it four weeks ago? 
then in another four weeks we'll do another one yes it is in another in another four weeks we'll do the new another pie game thing where we add more game functionality to this then hopefully you'll be able to reflect it in your game so homework for those people that haven't written a block game go ahead and do one for the people that have had add some graphics to it <laughs> right with that i will say thank you very much for joining me and is anybody on that we can raid no there's no one online really All right then guys, there's no one online for me for us to raid, so I will say thank you very much for joining and I will see you possibly Wednesday. Take care guys, bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.